In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit existing keyboard shortcuts and add your own keyboard shortcuts right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, in order to edit or add your own custom keyboard shortcuts, you want to go up to the Premiere Pro CC icon and go down to keyboard shortcuts. Now inside of this window, we've got an absolute plethora of different settings to choose from. So let me walk you through what all of these different things are going to do for you. So to begin with, we've got keyboard layout preset. So we've got our custom, we've got Final Cut Pro 7, and that's going to mimic the keyboard shortcuts of Final Cut Pro 7. This means if you've come from Final Cut and you want to edit on Adobe, you can set all of those keyboard shortcuts that you're used to from Final Cut and use it inside of Premiere Pro which is extremely handy and super intelligent. Next up, we've got Avid Media Composer. We've got Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and Adobe Premiere Pro Default. So as you can see, if you come from all of these different programs, then you could just jump into Premiere, change your keyboard style, and there you go, you're good to go. But I'm gonna keep this on custom for now. Next up, we've got Commands, and it's default set to application. But of course, we can go ahead and we can select all of these different settings. And this basically means that when you're in all of these different panels, so let's go to the Lumetri color panel. When we're in the Lumetri color panel, we can basically set a different set of keyframes for this panel rather than our main panel. So typically when you're editing, if you're on the timeline, if you're using C, you're going to load up the cut tool and you're pressing V, you're going to load up the normal cursor tool but you can go ahead and select a different command for a different panel. So we'll select the metric color and we can change these. So C and V and we can add a different effect or a different control to these different keys. But we'll take that back to application. And as you can see by default, all of these different keys are corresponding to a different effect. So Z is zoom tool, X is mark clip, C is razor tool, V is selection tool, B is ripple edit tool, and so forth and so forth. So if you wanted to change one of these, let's say it's not quite working for you, then select the key of your choice, we'll select Z, and you can either delete this by pressing that button there. If you wanted to undo that, you just press undo. But if you wanted to delete that, you just undo, and you go through this list on your left. So let's go to the selection tool. We can drag that onto the command there. And there you go. Z is now corresponding to the selection tool. So not only does Z work for the selection tool, it also works for V. So you've got selection tool and these are the shortcuts to the selection tool. Super handy. So as you can see, all of these keyboards on the screen right now are just instantly accessed by pressing one button. So if you want the slip tool, you just press Y. But in order to give you more options, you can go ahead and you can hold shift before the button or you can hold command for the button. And if you wanted to set that up here, you just press command here first. And by pressing command, you've got all of these different settings and all of these different applications ready to go. And all you have to do is hold command and then press the letter of your choice. So as you can see, by default, seven is select camera seven. But if we go command and then select seven, we can add whatever effects we wanted to this number now. So rather than affecting the camera, we can use the razor tool. We'll drag that onto there. And that means command seven is now going to access the razor tool. And the same thing applies for if we go to control, shift, option, or a variety of different ones. So if we hold command and shift, we've got all of these different keyboard shortcuts available to us. So essentially you just want to go ahead and you want to select a button of your choice, a key of your choice, and you just want to drag one of these effects onto that button of choice. If you wanted to be more fancy and add your control or shift or option or control commands, then all you have to do is select them and drag that onto the corresponding box on the right. So take your time to go through all of these different settings and all of these different options available in this panel to you on the left, drag them onto a corresponding key of your choice. And there you go. That's really going to help you with your Adobe Premiere Pro workflow because it means you can do everything at the touch of a button. So there you go. That is how you edit and add your own custom keyboard shortcuts right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching.